Everybody set. Three, two, one. Action. Hello everyone and today I share the same excitement that most of you have because we just got the sizzle reel for Star Wars The Last Jedi released out of D23 to Disney Expo and it was information packed. Now today I'm going to be showing you guys some of the information that I caught from this teaser trailer and hope to stir the pot in terms of speculation about what could happen in Star Wars The Last Jedi when it comes in theaters in this December. Some of the stuff that happens, people are going to be like, oh my god. Now, if you want to check out the full scissor reel for yourself before watching this video, I'll put a link to it in the description below. And make sure to come back, watch this video, and also put in the comment section any other things that you may have spotted in the scissor reel that others haven't, just to add to the speculation because this video was pretty huge. Now, the first thing I want to bring into question is this screenshot of the planet of Crate. Now, I know a lot of people might be thinking, oh, this is just an action shot, there's nothing really to tell about it. Well, you're wrong if you think that. If you really pay attention and look at the details in this shot, you'll notice that everybody here is standing in a trench. Now, this moment is supported further in the trailer when you see this area again, and you can see that, yeah, very clearly, they're standing in a trench, meaning we're going to be getting some variation of trench warfare in Episode 8, The Last Jedi. I'm really getting a Battle of Hoth vibe whenever I look at this because this is Krayt. Now, if you remember, if you noticed this in the Last Jedi teaser trailer, Crate is where we'll be getting our first look at the First Order Walkers. So as I said, a real Battle of Hoth vibe is what I'm getting whenever I see Crate in the teaser trailer and now in the sizzle reel. Now another thing I want to bring to attention that kind of caught my eye a lot are two separate moments in the sizzle reel where you see Adam Driver and Daisy Ridley training respectively. It is normal to see these actors training choreography. We've seen plenty of shots of Daisy Ridley training and choreography with her lightsaber staff. It was a very popular meme created around it and all this stuff. But if you really look at this moment that we saw in the scissor reel, there's going to be an epic fight scene concerning Rey and Kylo Ren, apparently. Because in the scissor reel, you can see that Adam Driver is training in a fight against two separate people. And Daisy really is training in a fight against three different people. And what I found very interesting is Daisy and Adam Driver are training with mock versions of their character Sabres, but the other combatants are training with bow staffs, basically. So I don't know if this means that they're going to be fighting some kind of people who wield weapons other than lightsabers, or, or these are new kind of lightsabers, new bow staff lightsabers that we're getting ready to see in The Last Jedi. But either way, I can't wait to see what this could mean for Star Wars The Last Jedi. Now the next screenshot that I found rather interesting was a shot of Kylo Ren standing on a walkway and it leads to a throne. Now if you didn't catch this, don't feel bad about it because it went by really fast, especially the shot with throne. You can see Kylo Ren clearly, but then the next shot kind of fades away as it rises up. But if you pause it very quickly, you see that it is a throne. A throne that we can only guess belongs to Supreme Leader Snoke. What really caught this with me was it's not on a grand scale as it was filmed in The Last Jedi. If you saw anything behind the scenes on The Last Jedi, you would know that Snoke's throne was filmed in a grand scale. It was huge to make you feel as though you were looking at a giant individual. But here, they're standing right across from you. You could see face to face with Supreme Leader Snoke if he was sitting in this throne. So this may confirm that Snoke is in fact a normal sized individual. Now the last thing I wanna point out is this screenshot of Rose and Finn. They are wearing First Order disguises. That's all you have to say about that. So we're getting an undercover mission in The Last Jedi. But what's crazy to think about it is pretty much everybody in the First Order knows Finn's face. So how they're going to be able to pull that off, I got no idea. Just can't wait to see how this goes down. But tell me in the comment section, as I said earlier, is there anything in this is real that you pointed out that you want to make known? And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to press that like button and share with your friends to get them in on the conversation as well. If you haven't already, subscribe to the Marauders Guild and ring the bell to know about it whenever we upload. Hope you all consider making this your new home for Star Wars. Until the next time, may the force of others be with you.